Oh hi, my name is Alexandra, I am 21 years old, I am a university student in Greece and this is basically my life. So in the morning I wake up around 9.30 to 10.30, it depends on when my classes start and also when I fell asleep and I head over to the bathroom. Well, I do actually spend some time on social media and catch up with the friends and reading the news and all that, but let's say I head out to the bathroom to do my skincare routine and to brush my teeth. So I wash my face, I do my treatments, which at the moment is hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. I moisturize my skin and I put on sunscreen. So in Greece we have a curfew going on and we have to do everything from 7 o'clock to till 9 in the afternoon. So I have to do everything in the morning, especially today, because I have classes to attend. I really enjoy doing my skincare in the morning and it's quite therapeutic and I take that time to, you know, practice some self-care. I never forget to put on my sunscreen but I didn't show it because my camera ran out of storage and I fixed my hair and then I put on my sunscreen usually. Anyways, then I get dressed. And today I didn't really have enough time and I was too lazy to pick an outfit so I just went on with a black shirt and a regular pair of jeans. Once I'm dressed, I get my bags, I get my shoes, I get my shearling jacket, I think that's it's called, and I head straight out because we have some things to do today. So today I'm running errands. Today I had to go to the post office to get a parcel and, and I went there by foot because I don't like to take the bus during the pandemic, obviously. There are essential walkers and people who need to use public transport way more than I do so I prefer to walk and I take this time to breathe in some air, listen to the birds, listen to music, get some vitamin D3 <laughs> by the sun and wake myself up basically. Sometimes I get a coffee on my way back home but today I didn't. Once I got my parcel <laughs> I went back home. I have been waiting for so many parcels and I don't know which one this one is. So, got my scissors. Oh, I got myself a summer dress. Look at that, that's adorable. It's a wrap summer dress that I'm not going to be trying on. I never wear something like that, but I wanted to try it out because it looks so cute. And I got myself the It by Stephen King. So I'm not going to be going into any more detail about the things because I'm going to be making a small thrift haul when all of the other things I've ordered arrive. And yeah, so that's it for now. So I'm not going to be trying on the dress. So now I have my oats in the oven and make myself some breakfast. I'm going to be having a class in what? 10, 15 minutes and I'm going to be taking you with me. I prepared my working surface for my class and I also brought my breakfast there. I like to have a slice of lemon in my water whenever I feel like it because I see it as a form of self-care and I try to do it every day but I don't <laughs> I forget quite often and like that I'm ready for the first lecture of the day and I also make myself some coffee This lecture was from 12 to 3 and it's called Developmental Psychology and Social Change, Decolonizing and Feministic Approaches, or I hope I translated that correctly, I'm not sure. During the break I changed my position and move around a little bit to be more comfortable. Basically, it's about how phenomenons like uh, discrimination and racism happen in history and in our everyday lives and to deeply understand the roots of, and the causes of these problems from a historical and feministic and decolonizational does that make sense? Is that a word? Um, point of view. It's a very interesting class and even though I do look bored in the footage, I'm actually very immersed into this. Once the class is over, I have lunch because I am ravenous at this point. <laughs> the quarantine and the pandemic have been quite hard for a lot of people here 
and life has been getting a little bit repetitive and boring so I do try to romanticize the small moments and make the most of it and really take some time to myself and appreciate the little things because at the end of the day those are the things that I think matter the most once the few hours in between classes that I have for free are over and I finish reading, I have my second lecture of the day and this one is from 6 to 9 in the afternoon and it's about different approaches to psychotherapy. It's got quite a lot of details to be honest with you, it's got a lot of information and so it's a bit tiring but you know, it is what it is I guess. Finally, once all of my classes and my lectures are over, I get to do my workout of the day. I quite like working out a lot, and but I was a little skeptical about showing some of my exercises, but you know what, I decided to do it because no one's perfect, we all have insecurities, things that we're not sure about, and working on them and working out is a part of self-care and afterwards I feel great, so why not show it? Why hide it? Why should I feel not embarrassed, but why should I feel self-conscious about it? Whatever, you know? And finally I had dinner, so with my dinner I decided to watch Suspiracy this week and which I am seeing currently for the third time honestly because it was such a great and informative documentary and then I went to bed and I did some reading and this is basically my everyday life and my everyday routine so I hope this inspired you in some way and I will see you in next Sunday which will be my next video and have a great rest of your day good night